Clarendon. Jamaica's third largest parish is home to nearly 250,000. A significant proportion of the 2.9 million population of the largest English-speaking nation in the Caribbean. The hustle and bustle of Maypen, the parish capital, a rural town that feels more suburban given its proximity to Kingston, the national capital. A place where the reminders of a British colonial past seamlessly coexist with the newer amenities of this busy population centre. But life and times are changing for Maypen, once a teeming commercial centre for thriving sugar and bauxite alumina industries. The decline in these industries have led to the shrinking of the local economy and growing unemployment, especially among the youth, making them ripe targets for criminal gangs. I'm, I'm hoping and dreaming that Clarendon one day will get back to where we were when I was young. Where I used to sleep with my windows open down in Michelle no? Used to don't have any burglar bars on the windows. And everybody was happy. Everybody was moving around, doing what they have to do. So I'm hoping for that day to return. The mayor of May Penn is a key voice in the steering committee facilitated by FHI 360 to search for sustainable solutions for youth crime prevention in Clarendon. Mayor Winston Mirage takes a back seat in the meeting, giving other important community players the opportunity to have their say about priority actions for this very important issue. They're learning from the FHI 360's Scale Plus methodology on how to increase collaboration and decrease isolation. What's really key about the methodology is that it focuses on strengthening systems. So rather than focusing on an individual project or an individual you know, element, we look across the entire system of actors that may have an investment or that should have an investment in addressing a particular development challenge. FHI 360 is implementing local partner development, a five-year USAID funded activity. Local partner development is intended to provide a holistic approach to enhance capacity and build the sustainability of civil society organizations, social enterprises, and government agencies which are working to reduce citizen vulnerability. A big part of our work is also facilitating cross-sector collaboration and dialogue towards a safer Jamaica. So we will be piloting in Clarina what we call a whole system in the room retreat, which is really bringing together in one space a wide cross-section of individuals from Clarendon to brainstorm solutions to the issue of youth crime in their parish. Recent statistics have shown that young people are both the primary victims and perpetrators of crime in Jamaica and Clarendon is no exception. The crime rate in Clarendon is among the highest in Jamaica, and sadly, most major crimes in the parish are committed by youths below the age of 29. Miles away from Clarendon, some 90 community leaders from across the parish gather in a big room, in a neutral space, for a whole system in the room strategic retreat. Here, they are testing their newfound skills for collaboration and corporate action. For three days, FHI 360 facilitators deftly teased out of the participants their fears, anxieties and hopes for their parish, canvassing and collating their own ideas, solutions and action plans to stem youth crime in Clarendon. 
The three days have been intense, but very worthwhile in terms of the information that has come out. So we've taken the group from the past and set in the context. We took them through the current situation where they're at now as it relates to youth crime prevention in the parish and then got them to vision the life beyond 2018. So we took them to 2028, 10 years from now, what they wanted to see. And then we did some planning around that and then post this workshop we will look at the implementation now we're using prenatal clinics for more than vitamins and tech pressure but we are teach parents the way of the future good communication skills proper discipline and good values for 2028 and them good systems that we are use Arlene and the dream you the dream Arlene this is the realest regime we are here today to give him praise the South Coast has been developed full tourism. Nobody's going to the North Coast. Praise They're heading the to the South Coast. Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. Bullet is now developed. It is now nature tourism number one in the world. Praise Somebody the Lord. could help me praise, praise his name. Lord. Our economy is growing at ten yes. percent per annum. Hey. Somebody say Amen. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Five clearly defined projects emerge from the deliberations. One, advocacy for inclusion of youth development in government policies. Two, reintegration of unattached youths in high schools. Three, strengthening the local economic development entrepreneurial initiative in Clarendon. Four, development and implementation of a youth mentorship program and five, training and support for parents in Clarendon. USAID, through local partner development, will provide technical assistance and funding support up to $350,000 to fund the action plans that the participants themselves developed. What do we do with these young people who are the leaders and have an influence on the subgroups? Just being here and seeing different persons, different organizations, it, it motivates me to continue. You can have the facilities there because there's no programs there unused or unused. Because I've seen that in Clarendon. The fact that we can all come together, even though it was tedious, mm -hmm. that we can all come together and come up with a solution for crime. That for me is a, is a takeaway because all of us have the same interests. We were given the opportunity to share in a very um, creative manner. That was just, that was the bang for me. Breaking news coming from Caledonia Street in the parish of Clarendon. It's our first time that we are really been at a workshop where the methodology being used is different from what we all used to. The retreat is over. The participants board the buses to travel south back to Clarendon. The energy and the sense of empowerment is palpable. Now for the hard work of implementation and sustainability, which is owned by all the stakeholders in the community, like Sergeant Mailer Wallace of the Maypen Police. We're doing patrol of the town of Maypen. We're actually going along Main Street at this time. Two crime is very prevalent. Main perpetrators, main victims. They are, they are involving gangs. And even before we came on the road today, we had to deal with two students who were fighting in the town. The FHI 360 whole system in the room retreat represents an inflection point for all stakeholders in Clarendon. Through closer collaborations, business and civic leaders hope to achieve quick and lasting results. It's about strengthening the program so we do not just leave it there. How does the existing business community assist these young people in identifying what areas they fit into, nurture them to get them to the stage where they can be a part of the business process to allow them to feel a sense of belonging because um, in doing so, that is how you strengthen them. Sometimes we don't even know. As adults, we're not sure what exactly it is that we want to do much more than younger people. So how do we help them know to identify 
where they fit into the picture, support them so that we level up Clarendon. The people of Clarendon are moving forward with confidence. But even more importantly, they are feeling more enabled to harness the power of the collective, to script an amazing future of their own design, and to implement in sustainable ways a better life for themselves, their families, and for generations to come.